Okay, so uh, let's get into a league here. Enough Stalin. <clears throat> I think this deck is sweet. I have a lot of fun playing this thing when I was playing it today. I opened up... <clears throat> I went 3-2 in a league last night, so I opened up the treasure chest. Opened up a Cavern of Souls, which is pretty sweet. See, I went... I went 0-3 when I was playing this deck to warm up with earlier today. But I lost. Those were all pretty close matches and were definitely wins if I was a little more familiar with what's going on. <coughs> so we got 16 lands, but I have three red sources, including a mount. Uh, four red sources, mount and a stomping ground. Um, not a lot of green in this deck everywhere. I wonder if, like... <coughs> You can just completely cut the traverse aspect of this deck. Like, really, the only green... Well, the traverse for this deck is to do, like, that normal linear death shadow thing, but then it be copies four through seven of Bedlam Revler in the late game. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Like, it's... Might not be needed. You might be able to just play Mardu Pyromance or, like, a Mardu Death Shadow deck, but... I don't know. I was going to play two Abrupt Decays, but... I just think that the Hollow One deck's really good. All right, we'll keep this. I'm gonna start with a Thought Seize because we don't want Faithless Looting on one because we don't know what we're getting rid of. <coughs> okay, get a Blood Crypt. Okay, so I'm just gonna eat one of these Bedlam Revelers. Our, our opponent's hands were done enough that. Hitting the Revelers is pretty important. So we're playing against a Pyromancer deck as well. Don't do that. No, don't eat this. <clears throat> a little Pyromancer on Pyromancer action. <coughs> Excuse me. I seem to have a cough going on. They take my looting. I only have two card types. So I actually could go fetch shot and just mana morphos now. Because I could hit like a street race and then traverse for a death shadow. So I think I think we're gonna do that. It's not bad. Or at least we're gonna be able to get like some interaction. Hey, come on. Come on. Puppy's being a little a little pup boy. Right, so get three shield skins for in game. Like this, I think I'm gonna make. So in a perfect world, I go green black to hit traverse. So I think I'm gonna go green black. Stop that. Because I would. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna go green black. So let me hit discard spell. Oh, hit a faithless looting, which is tilting. So let's try this again. I'm going to make green red this time. Okay. So let's looting. So this is okay because I'm going to ditch this lightning bolt and I'm going to ditch this land because if my opponent takes. We ditch the lightning bolt and then ditch the land. If my opponent takes the death shadow, then I have delirium. And I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can traverse for a bedlam revel next turn. So I'm just gonna go like this, say okay, then pass the turn. Let them discard spell either my death shadow or my traverse, and then I will get a Bedlam Reveler into play next turn. Because this goes get like Stomping Ground, then I Traverse for it. Because it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six so far. <clears throat> and I was just kind of like winging that whole thing, which is part of the reason why this deck, this deck's kind of difficult to play. This deck feels similar to Decandio's deck, but more, more focused. Looting. Okay, so they're looting. So they're going to discard some Lingering Souls, get a little bit of value here. So either way, I get a creature next turn, which is good. My Death Shadow will be a... a 
whatever it is, a 4-4. Four, four. So it's not going to be able to get lightning bolted. So Bedlam Reveler, Lingering Souls. Black Leaf Quest, Thoughtseize. Oh, my little, uh, my little cousin is starting to lose teeth. I post pictures of him, which is awful cute. Oh, I need to get this going over here. Okay, so they took Traverse. So they figured out what the Traverse is doing. That's gas, though. So I'm just going to play this out. Um, they have three cards. I think I'm just going to fetch now. I really don't want to get commanded. They don't want to go to fetch and then Colgon's command get this and this card. That would be pretty much a disaster. And we're going to do it anyway, so I might as well just do it now. Oh, come on over here. Let me get my music, song requests. We're not going to auto pass. So it's just flashing back lingering souls. It is a K command. They're going to get back their battle level making this card this, which is annoying, but we didn't. this is why we did this now, because we didn't want that to happen. Wow, that's another traverse. Okay, um. So I guess I'm going to looting. The looting doesn't really do a lot for me. I guess I, I might just naturally draw a Bedlam Reveler. Okay, so I can go like this, have Delirium next turn, go get a Reveler, and then um, Revel will reload. Guys, my opponent got a Colagon's command again. How much is there? Their Reveler costs three. So there's flashback Iron Souls. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna attack first. Probably not cycle this. Well, I guess seven against. Well, there's still there's two other Lingering Souls in there. Yeah, I'm not cycling. So that could be a light. Their, their, their cards left are Lightning Bolt, are X, and Bedlam Reveler. So let's go like this. Get my own Bedlam Reveler. I'm going to be really sad if this Death Shadow gets hit here. But I can't afford... Yeah, I can't afford to, like, take a whole bunch of damage when they have, you know, a bunch more spirits coming. So we have a bunch of garbage, but at least that's going to work well with our Faithless Looting. Opponent Rebels. They ditch a Bedlam Reveler, which is good for the home team. So I could Inquisition them just to look at what they got. Okay, so they're going to shock and bring back some more. Pyromancer, okay. Well, because of that Pyromancer, I do think that now I have to find an answer to that. So... This is literally just like the bigger version of this deck. Okay. Ditch both of those. I can attack. I can attack with both, but then the, he has to block one of them. Probably just blocks here. Takes four. I push this. Bedlam Reveler. If they have like Lightning Bolt, but they only have one more card in their hand. They're going to flash back two Lingering Souls tokens next turn. Lingering Souls. So I think I've got to put some pressure on them. So I'm going to attack with both of my creatures. They have to block, or they more than likely die. Okay. And now I just got to hope that they don't, you know, get me out. They don't just get me here. 
Because they're going to flash back. This is going to make this five, and then it's like lethal in the air, but I can set up both my creatures to be lethal. I mean, if they have a lightning bolt, then I'm dead, but... Need to like, yeah, yeah, bolt. Okay. So it's gonna be difficult to win that game, anyways, but such is life. And I, I would kill for a Nihil spell bomb in my graveyard. So this terminate's good. Last hope's good. These lingering souls are good, and the godless shrine. What do I want to discard? Probably some number of, at least two street rates, maybe more. This Abrupt Decay is not that good. My Fatal Pushes aren't great either. Like, just having a whole lot of spot removal against, like, a young Pyromancer deck just isn't that, isn't super enticing, I don't think. I do want this Terminate. I could bring in the Battle Rage, but I really dislike Team or Battle Rage against any deck with Fatal Push. <clears throat> so that's seven. Boy, I one more of these. And do we think, and probably just one of these. Also, we can just shave. I want to keep... Uh, maybe I can discard... Get rid of a couple of my discard spells. Is, like, the Mana Morphos better than... Is, like, a Mana Morphos and a couple of the removal spells better than the Inquisition? I guess I could keep, like, one and then keep another one of these. I don't really know, but I think I want to definitely give this... A, you know, give this kind of sideboarding a try here. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're gonna get to toss two lingering souls in our graveyard on turn one. Hopefully, we can find like some type of threat. Lead off on the catacombs. We have two of them. And then get Blood Crypt. Get rid of both of those and pass. Probably just gonna play Young Pyromancer next turn. It kind of means he has to kill it. Oh, except this is getting so he probably this He probably takes my Pyromancer. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna scry. I do want that. Delirium. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Well, let's see. I need to find. I would like to find a removable spell. So let's go like this. I think about what kind of mana I want. So I'm gonna go red. I'm not casting Bedlam Red this turn, more than likely. So I think I'm just gonna go. Green, black, hilt. So I can thought seize them, traverse for a death shadow. Next turn, play death shadow and bedlam reveler. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I can actually traverse for the death shadow and play the death shadow this turn because I haven't made a land drop. I can just take this. I might as well just take this and then go pedal to the metal. I can discard one of my land drops. Oh, this deck's tough to play. Go get an overgrown tomb. I'll get Godless Shrine. You don't really need double green in this deck. Just to get this into play and then crack my opponent for two. Holy shnikes. There's a lot going on. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? Hey, what's up, buddy? Let me go see my puppy for a second. He's making some noise. Hey, pal, what's up? 
You're going to face the squeakies. Do you need to go out? Maybe I'll take him out after this match. Drafting while running. Drafting. Nice. How is it? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So this Bedlam Reveler costs three. Pokemon has a K command gone, and they have, I know the exact, so we can go in, chip in with all these. I should have Bedlam Reveled first, but I guess it doesn't really matter, because they're, they're going to block this no matter what. <clears throat> okay, I want to leave Blood Crypt open. I kind of just want to cast all these next turn. Because like next turn I can go like one, two. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna cast all those cards next turn. Five color green. Is that what? Is it one of those sets? Like, because I know like some of the, those sets can be a little degenerate when it comes to like, especially if you have a. How do I say this? They can be just kind of degenerate, like with the ones with the signets and stuff. So next time we're shaping up for a pretty large attack. Yeah. Okay, so they just Pyromancer and Blood Crypt. So Dredge Bore my Shadow. They get another token. So the last card is going to be one, two, three, four, five. So they're going to be able to cast that next turn. So I got to look for some interaction for that. Okay, so let's start off by scrying. Okay, we definitely don't want that. So now we can go fetch a basic. Yeah, this deck is... This deck's shenanigans, I think. Like, it's there's just so much going on here. Let's go like this. Um, I could just discard both of these. Double flashback, faithless looting, and play a... And then save my bobble for next turn. I really want to find a way to kill this thing. So this Reveler is one, two, three, four. So it's like their whole turn. So it's not like they're going to be able to really go nuts with this. I could just go like this and this and then keep looking. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep digging. Yeah, I really want to find a way to kill this thing. Oh, shoot. That's not how that works. God damn it. Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize that's not how that worked. I can't count. Oh, I just pissed away so many points. Oh, that's frustrating. Like I said, like, when I was playing this deck here earlier, there's a lot going on here. And I'm, I'm definitely going to, like, mistakes are definitely going to ma be made well getting used to how this works here. So I think position might be decent with a follow-up. But I probably actually want to keep that in my hand because of like what happened with this Faithless Looting. I always was used to like, oh, I cast Looting and we're good. That was like, I just made a mistake while setting it up, Nate. It's like, something that I struggle at is I am like, I struggle when it comes to playing new decks and like different kinds of, uh, how do I say this? Different, different like, uh, different interactions. So now we can just throw it all out the window and go get another Bedlam Reveler. And then hopefully we find a way to deal with that Pyromancer. So let's go Traverse. We can get a Death Shadow, but that seems just worse than a Bedlam Reveler. Okay, so now I can go like bing bing. Because this, I have a forest. Uh, I would need to take a bunch of damage to do this. 
and then I'd have to kind of worry about a lightning bolt. Alternatively, I could just let this stay in play and do that next turn. I could just go get it and then put Death Shadow into play also and like die to double bolt. Like if I then if I'm not cool dying to double bolt, then I have to can never crack this. So I think I'm just gonna send in with these. And then in my post main phase, play lingering flashback lingering souls, play death shadow. And if my opponent gets like at all funky with the blocks, then I can just K command something. Oh, I can get a mountain. That's gas. Okay, so let's flash back Lingering Souls. And then play Death Shadow. Like I said, there's a lot going on with this deck. Yeah. But my opponent gets to, like, Pyromancer and Reveler out now. Oh, well, they have a Manamorphose. Okay. Oh, they don't okay, K-Command me. This Bedlam Reveler could get bigger than my Pyromancer. Or could get bigger than my Death Shadow. Ditch, two Ley Line of the Voids. Okay. Good to know about. I'm gonna trim some graveyard stuff for the next game. Okay, so they play their land. Dread Boar targeting my Death Shadow. Okay. I'm gonna just chump block this. Okay, so we're in alright shape. We're gonna K command this, go upstairs. They're gonna loot. Okay. So they only have one card and they probably want it, which is sick. So let's go. Do I want to return a creep? I just want to go shock discard. Right? Yeah. Return uh, deals two damage. Target creature. Target player discards a card. Two damage. I'm going to tap this. What do we get? We just got to land. Okay. Um. Now, I guess I'm going to attack with both of these. Or I can attack just in the air with my four Lingering Souls tokens. What do they have? Do they have... They're out of... They have one Faithless Looting. So I guess I can just attack with these and like... Two tokens... Then hold two back to block here and here. I guess I should Faithless Looting, because I'm going to do that anyways. I should see like what I've got going on next turn. Get a little more information. Okay, so we're going to be Bedlow Reveling again. So I think I'm just going to go in with these, and then two of these. Hold two of these back to block this Bedlam Reveler. They would have to draw two removal spells out of their three cards they're going to look at. If they, if they draw a Bolt, I'm just dead. But, like, such is life. I guess we even beat Bolt. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's hard to, like, it's hard to, this is probably going to be an intense lead. Chump block this. Okay, command. Oh man, they hit a pyromancer. That sucks. How many cards do I have left in my deck? I only have 24 left, so let's 
Wow. Um, but that's our last Reveler. So I guess I could Faithless Looting. Because what, what's better than just a Death Shadow? Or I could just go get my own Young Pyromancer than Faithless Looting just to mill two cards over. And then solidify my board presence. Okay, so I'm going to do that, make it so my opponent has to block at least one of these. At least, so if I go into the air... So actually, if I cast two spells before combat, my opponent has to block both, because these are five. These will be five power, and I'll have three power in the air, so I'll have to actually double chump. So let's go get... Let's go get Young Pyromancer. Play Young. And I know we're we're not losing any cards here. We're just getting prowess triggers and gaining elementals. Okay, we discard both of these. And then I attack with the team. They have to go double chump. And then we get to kind of do the same thing next turn. This feels like just a huge, like, who snowballs harder? <clears throat> it is a Blood Moon. Good to know. Though we can play around Blood Moon. And we do have, I guess we don't have a basic forest, so Blood Moon would cut us off. Okay, so they push that, which is kind of annoying. I will... Should I just block this? They can't cast another spell this time. I'm just going to block this. Just trade here. I'll go to one. And then if I find a removal spell, I win. I guess alternatively, block, 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 block. They go to one if I don't... Well, I have to block... Yeah. This is going away. I'm just going to block this and go to one. Trade with this Pyromancer. Flashback this looting. That does it right, yeah. I guess I could just go attack with my spirit tokens. Bolt my opponent. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is there's this is gonna make my this league's gonna make my brain hurt. There's so much going on with this deck. So we want to cut some of the um, some of the sideboard or some of the graveyard shenanigans because we just saw that they had Leyline of the Void. So maybe then my plan should be a little bit more spot removal and maybe a little more discard. So like maybe cut like a traverse. I don't really want to cut a Bedlam Rebler. But if they lay line me on turn zero, then like I can't win. I guess I'll cut a regular. Yeah, I guess I've got two pieces of two more pieces of interaction and try to win the young pyromancer game. K command's likely worse. Maybe I can bring in. I guess just bring in a Miser's Battle Rage. Because I'm kind of going to need other ways to win this game if I don't have my graveyard. Yeah, I'll bring in two Battle Rages. Especially because we saw how they sideboarded. Yeah. And we can just we can just Faithless Looting them away if we need to. I usually don't. Like, it's kind of like breaks my rule of Battle Rage, but... Alright, we'll keep this. Or they mulligan. So what I've noticed here, 
is that in all of these fair matchups, okay, the these decks are better than my deck in the mid game, but my deck is better than their deck is in the late game. Like, um, that means that they definitely have like a young pyromancer coming. So I'm just gonna thought seize the pyromancer and then bob on their upkeep just in case they have another card. Oh, faithless looting. All right, I guess we'll take that. That means that the pyromancer's on top of their deck. Okay, so we draw a card. That's a good draw. So now, I'm gonna kill this. And then I think, what am I traversing for? One, two, three. Four. Am I just going to traverse for a land to be able to cast Lingering Souls to keep up with their Lingering Souls? That sounds so mopey. But I pro I think it's probably what we got to do. So let's go get Stomping Ground. And then Traverse just for Godless Shrine. There's no need to do like too much damage to us, I think. So now they Lingering Souls, then I will Lingering Souls. So they have a faith of suiting, so I think they're a little ahead. No, I don't think there's any reason to cast this. Like, I think we're just gonna cast the new souls. Because next turn, it's gonna one, two, three, four, five, six. I can cast Bedlam Reveler. I'm going to trade. I'm going to trade one because <clears throat> I don't want to get like my Bedlam Reveler eaten by Liliana. Okay. Okay, so they're out of cards. They have two souls in their graveyard, so. All right, so let's go. Let's just go green black off of this. We can fetch basic mountain if we need to. Green black. Right. So let's fetch basic mountain. Cast Bedlam Reveler. Ditch these two cards. Oh man, we can't cast the Pyromancer. But we can play the Pyromancer next turn. So now I'm just gonna play defense. I have the Reveler. And I, I need to like make sure I don't lose too much life because there's more Lingering Souls tokens coming. Like, I'm probably going to play Pyromancer and push a Lingering Souls token next turn. Again, I'm going to take one point here to not get beat by Liliana. Okay. Cast this. Oh shoot, I missed tapped. That's o that's okay. Let's take a look here. I still have a basic swamp. So I'm saving myself one point of damage either way doing this. Okay. And I'm just gonna do this now to, so that I get another prowess trigger on my Bedlam Reveler if they don't block. So I'm taking three, and then, but if they don't block, and they just attack all out, and they don't hit something, they have a Faithless Looting, but yeah, they're playing a dangerous game here. Because they might just wind up not being able to attack. Oh, they ripped the looting? That's a good draw. That's a pretty good draw for them. So they ditch Hazret and Swamp. I'm just blocking, so... 
get one of these out of here. So they're probably going to like, this has got to be a K command or another Lingering Souls. Wow, that's gas. All right. I guess one good rip deserves another. That's two, four, five, six, four, eight, four, six. I think that's lethal. Right? Because five. Yeah, you show me a removal spell. Okay, he's got a K command. Crackling Doom. Okay. So now they Faith is looting for a Lightning Bolt, because we've got him six ways to Sunday. That Crackling Doom was gas. Okay. No Lightning Bolt! Yeah! That was awesome. Man, that was awesome. We just went. Whew. Whew. I'm grab my slippers. I'll be right back. Wait, that off. No. No, Billy. Get back to it. I actually have the day off tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna stream like during the morning and at in the afternoon. I don't recognize my opponent's hand. This hand's good. This is like a good old Death Shadow hand here. I can go like Thought Seize. <laughs> oh, we're playing against Ponza. No, oh, Birds of Paradise. Okay. So I'm gonna go fetch Blood Crypt. Cycle. Okay. Uh, thought sees. All right. Well, we are taking this blood moon. I think it's Panza. The Uber, just the most fantastic deck in the format. Okay, so I'm going to play this, cast the Faithless Looting. All right, that's pretty good. So I actually am gonna just put back Traverse Land. Play this shadow, cycle my Street Wraith in response to their Lightning Bolt. Okay, so there's a clue. There's another clue. This Tyler Striker is going to be a problem, as this card tends to be. Cinderglade. Okay. I will, if they go to bolt this and they still attack with the Tyler's Tracker, I will try to trade it. That's good. I get to deal with this next turn and play another Death Shadow and then Traverse for a Bedlam Reveler. Yeah. So I don't know any cards left in their hand. Yeah, I think it's worth just going... Blood Crypt... Get this off the battlefield. Crack my opponent for seven. Play Death Shadow Traverse for Bedlam Reveler. Or do I just want to traverse? No, I want to do traverse for something because this is one, two, three, four, five. So I can cast it next turn and refill my hand. Yeah, so I'm just going to traverse for a Bedlam Reveler. 
and then play play this Death Shadow. Now they are they're in the abyss. They abyss very well though. What am I worried about? I don't really want to crack this fetch land because of Thunder Mile. Okay. But I just don't want to get T mod. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. This would be six, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to play this. I guess I could just actually, because the casting it's free, so I get to like give the heads up here. See what my opponent's got. If they have a bolt, it'll be useful. In front. Yeah, they have a bolt. Okay. Your last card opponent. Land. Might as well just cast this now. My opponent actually has to block. Uh, they, have, they have to block both on the board. So it doesn't matter. My dog just burped. You have to block both. Okay. F6, because we're not fetching. I mean, we're either dead or we're not dead. My opponent just shift, sifting for a life. I guess another creature would work as well. No, because I don't have mana. No, no, that's not how that works. Okay, let me look. What could this be that matters? Just Lightning Bolt, basically, but then they would have untapped it. So it doesn't really matter. I probably should actually just cycle this to look for a way to kill one of these two cards here. So I actually could traverse for a Bedlam Reveler to get another shot at it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Man, this deck sees a lot of cards. I was looking for a piece of one mana removal spell. Didn't find it. Tilt. They go chump chump, take four. We just knock the top of our library. They get two looks at a lightning bolt. Or like a glory bringer. A blood braid elf would be good. The blood braid elf's no longer good. I still got to say that wins by teeth. Wow. That was intense. So we get the Ponza deck. I probably want these battle rages, because they're gonna be they're gonna be decent no matter what. Like, Battle Rage is in the sideboard here because there's not, like, like, Battle Lover is okay to pair with it. It's not quite as good as Tomagoyf. Um. Young Pyromancer is probably a little slow. Keep one Pyro in. Nah, I'm gonna keep the Pyro in because we might be just a little too slow. I kinda wanna be lean. God, I just don't know what to sideboard out. I don't even know if I want these. I'm gonna look at the sideboard a little differently on the play. Like I'm gonna cut some of my one man interaction on the play. So I think I'm just gonna go like this. I just don't know what to cut. I like all my cards. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. We can bolt a bird and then we can faithless looting if we need to. Might be in trouble because that one gets a blood moon down. I'm just not realistically beating Blood Moon on two. So stitch these. 
This gets me Overgrown Tomb next turn. Hopefully I don't get Blood Wound. All right. So is it actually worth continuing to play this game? I'm gonna go with it. Well, no, actually we have Whatever the dumb card is, Faithless Looting can fix our mana into this Abrupt Decay, or Metamorphos can fix our mana into this Abrupt Decay. So let's just go here, check out their top card, they're drawing a Windswept Heath, there's some sweet mountain action, let's see what we draw, like we do have outs, I might bolt myself here at the end of the turn. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna lightning bolt myself. Cause they don't play anything here. Cause the only thing I really am excited to lightning bolt is like, oh, there might be something sweet off this. Stone ring, destroy target one turn. That sucks, cause that was my, uh, I was gonna flashback fake this turn. Uh, I should have let that hit me because it'll get me closer to, De to Death Shadow. That was stupid. So we're just kind of chilling. Lands or spells will be good here. Just need to find Mana Morphos. All right, um, ditch, ditch. Cracks clue. So we get whacked for five. We can find our basic forest as well, our basic mountain. We have a lot of those. Another blood red elf into an arbor elf. We have like one turn now. So this is eight. I want to start with this. This leaves us dead on. We're dead on board minus one. We're dead on board with a land. So whatever. We're going for it. Okay. Now we need basic mountain. No, oh, basic swamp, I mean. Concede. All right, we're on the play now. So, I think on the play, I want to bring these in. And cut my fatal pushes. Let's So we get three looks at a we get four looks at a new land before our next turn. So I'm gonna keep this. We're gonna cycle street raid first. We have a bunch of redraws here that are decent. So redraw at least. Okay. Um let's look at my I guess it doesn't matter actually. Yeah, this was stupid. Because I might want to discard that bobble. So we're gonna discard this. And this, play this bobble out, pass, see a swamp, see a forest, opponent plays that forest, don't play the Utopia Sprawl, please. Okay, bird, let's do the drawing next turn. Okay, what if fails? Three cards, come on, come on. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Ditch. Ditch. I'm actually gonna go get basic swamp. Thoughtseize. Takes blood moon. So you're saying there's a chance. I know all five of my bonus cards. Here comes Eternal Witness or Tireless Tracker. If they witness back the Blood Moon, that's going to be kind of annoying. All right. At least this Pyromancer stands to get kind of out of control. 
Oh, that was a really good draw. That was a super draw. So let's go like this. Do I even care about the Blood Moon at this point? I don't think I do. I think I care more about this Tireless Tracker. Yeah, like if they moon me next turn, it doesn't shut, it only shuts off my fetch lines. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this tractor. And then we have to kind of go off next turn a little bit. So they play moon. Okay. Okay, so let's go like this. And then we're gonna make green black. Position. We don't know the last card, but I think I might as well just flash back a looting. Get a little more velocity. All right, we'll ditch this. I could keep this actually and just ditch both of these. Then I could bolt something and then attack with everything. Yeah. Get in. Hopefully they don't rip like a, a mass sweeper. A sweeper would be would be pretty bad. So we got a pyroclasm. I thought about boarding out the young pyromancers, wasn't that crazy? So we're gonna flash it back with this mana next turn. The only thing that's relevant that we can't really cast is traverse. Primal Command. Put target non-creature non permanent on top of the library. Search your library of creature card. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. I put it on top. That's not good. All right, let's see what I've sideboarded out. So I just have lightning bolts to deal with this. So I have to go like this. I've got one lightning bolt left. Oh, this doesn't matter because it just mills cards over. Sorry. I mean, we, we're gonna need, oh, that sucks. So this is another mistake that I keep forgetting that, I forget that it's like negative card production. Not negative card production, that's the wrong way to say it. Um, it's you go down a card when you cast it. So we're probably in a lot of trouble now. Because this Inferno Titan is just going to kill us. Yeah, and they go... Bleh! Kill that, yep. Alright, we, now, now we're digging for Death Shadow. So, one, two, three... Actually, just he actually just kills us. Yeah, let's see if he does it. Because I think he just fires, whacks all of these, and then kills us. That sucks. We were so we were doing so well with that. Okay, it gets us. That that was fun. I mean. We were in it. That, that, that primal command was just like exactly what our opponent needed. There, well, seven viewers. I hope everyone's having a good time hanging out. I appreciate everybody showing up. Wow, our leagues are firing tonight. I might stay up and do another league later. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. We're on the draw. For our faithless looting, it's like dot seized and we're in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> but that's what that's that's where we are in life. Front row. Now if you'd have told me that I was gonna lose to the um to the pyromancer, okay. That I was gonna lose to the uh whatever it's called. 
If you told me I was going to lose the Ponza deck, but beat the Pyromancer deck, I would not have believed you. So I think I'm going to Thought Seize. I'm going to Inquisition this turn. Hold off on this Faith of Saluting, because I could draw a land. Forest. Love to nab like a Bob. Up to K. Oh, I'm just going to take Maelstrom Pulse. I'm surprised he... I'm surprised he took Pyromancer with the hand that my opponent has. So what am I doing next turn? Next turn I can go... I think I'm just going to Faithless Looting next turn. I don't really want to do anything else. Because I don't want to... I don't really want to go like Manamorphos and go nuts. That's not bad. So if I ditch... Inquisition. Overgrown Tomb. Get. Oh, that's my only Overgrown Tomb. Okay, that's alright. We can Manamorphose into this. So get Blood Crypt. I'm used to having two Overgrown Tombs because I always have two Overgrown Tombs in my Death Shadow decks. Uh, we'll just take this Abrupt Decay. So this is going to mean that a Death Shadow will be very live soon. So one, two, three, four, five. If I draw a land, I can, I can do it. Okay. That's not bad. So let's go like this. And we're actually going to filter into green-black. Okay, so we did hit a land. So now I just thought seize. Take the abrupt decay. Traverse. What do I have to fetch for? I just have Swamp. It's a black source to fetch for. So I'm not doing anything with this Death Shadow right now. So I'm going to go like this. And then pass. Next turn, play my Death Shadow. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so play Death Shadow and play. Yeah, this is sick. They just have Mountain. Okay, Lightning Bolt. Yeah, we'll Right, we're not going to cycle that one. Yeah, so I think I'm actually just going to go fetch. I don't want to go down to six. So I think we're just going to forego the green stuff at this point. The only green card we have is Traverse. We've already got our engine online. We'll draw three cards. Okay, so we can go Manamorphos Traverse next turn for another Bedlam Melver if we need to. And this can get a tap stomping ground. Wow. That was awesome. We're just going over the top of all these fair decks. Okay. Um, so grindy, 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 grindy. We want these seven. I think we boarded out this, one of these, two of these, and I don't really know what else we boarded out. Because I want to take, I want to make room for one more card. I want to keep a street wraith in. Maybe I can just cut all the street wraiths. And I'll cut a discard spell. Now, on the draw, I want more discard spells because of Bob. I'm just going to cut Street Wraiths on the draw. Maybe cut a couple Inquisitions and bring Street Wraiths in on the play. Ten. Man, I've had fun playing this deck. I don't know if this deck's any good. Like, it's just like Mardu Pyromancer, but it just plays Traverse and Death Shadow. I think if you add Traverse and Death Shadow to almost any deck, it gets better. If you watch this channel, hence that's what happened when we started playing Jund. 
We just added Traverse and Death Shadow, and I got that back. We're an hour in, we're not even done the third match. This is such a grindy. This is so grindy. I might have to go take my pup out. This is a lot. Wait, keep sleeping. This is a tough night to stream with me. All the competition going on. I'll be on tomorrow morning. So we're going to be less, less than fun. if we get a little more active. Oh, I'm going to keep this hand. It's not very good, but I really don't like Mulligan against Jun. And oh, like this is half live. This is going to die at some point. So like we're going to have a good shot at it. Hopefully I don't take thoughts he's gonna take my discard spell. This is getting overgrown too. Okay, now I can. Now we're three quarters of the way to Delirium. What's the matter? We don't want that. So we're gonna get overgrown too. We'll hold on the Godless Shrine. Just a little bit. I actually have more outs to Liliana than I do Scavengers. Scavengers also just wrecks my game plan if it stays in play. And Liliana ticking up is going to get me to at least get rid of my <laughs> traverses if they're bad. So I assume Treetop, no target. Actually, they drew something. They kept the car on top, so this is what they kept. Don't be a bob. Hello and welcome! Thanks, Team okay, Modern okay. Super League once again. So take my death special out Wednesday night edition. I'm Randy Bueller. I'm joined by Sam sweet. Black. How you doing, Sam? If that's the case, I'm not gonna. Seems I'm gonna like, like just go a week ago, I was sitting in a Skype call with you when our show was blindsided by basically half of Vegas like it, lost it internet. We weren't able to stream, so this match this is, is postponed. It was originally time. scheduled for last week. We're going to play it tonight. Same deal. More magic. The one uh, relevant change is that the role of Patrick Dickmon tonight on International Alliance will be played by Andre Prost. Couldn't uh, couldn't make schedule work for Patrick, unfortunately. So I'm just going to discard my else is here, out. and we're ready to play. You ready to play? Yeah. <laughs> Still remember the decks that you guys submitted and the fans. Let's and, and let, you know, let's, let's refresh. Big picture, you guys lost the first match, as did International That's Alliance. Bad. So this works out to be an elimination That's match, weird. just like last night's match was. Uh, the loser yeah, is out like at 0 2 The winner at 1-1 one right. one will get a match for a top four spot spells. coming okay, up here. God. Oh my god, and we hit the Lily on Now, so you guys go. submitted decks for this. It was kind of the, the second trip through the yeah. format where you're submitting six different decks, knowing one of them's gonna get banned, trying to have answers to, any, to everything. What was your what was your thought process going into this? Any uh, any cool insights into the yeah. format you can share? Well, I mean, go get the basic structure that we've kind of fallen source. into is trying to lead on a deck that has uh, like 50-50 matchups uh, across the the field as as close as possible, um, so Take that. I don't know. So that if it wins its then first we match, got, we got one, then two, it's not three, easy four, for the five, opposing team to revelor. like. Oh my god! I go revelor and death shadow um, next turn. Like they can't just go like, oh, well, we have this deck that's eighty percent to beat the deck that we know that you're locked on playing. Um, so that we might actually be able to win two matches in a row instead of just like winning one and then trading off. Um, and so we want to have like a deck that has like pretty flat matchups. Um, Unfortunately, Matt Severa likes playing Fair Ducks, and those tend to have okay, matchups like yeah. that. So, uh, we Over just let two. Matt choose what deck he wants to play. Um, and his and choice was... So actually, he was sure that he wanted to uh, have Jund as one of our decks, and he was kind of flexible on the other one uh, within, you know, the sorts of decks that he likes. And um, come up past the turn. And then, uh, I, I mean, basically there were like- We have plenty of mana, so I can actually scry here and then have it impact then, my turn. Uh, okay, this deck yeah, is, this deck like, is sweet. I want, you know, these, probably not this. Oh, I think this is pretty Where's good. Okay, fine. If you think it's good, from. I'll trust you. Um, that oh, that's stuff. so annoying. Uh, where, where is that? I can't explain. I like having some decks that are that have a lot of Do I even have that on? 
I appreciate you telling me, but like, I don't know if we're having issues. Hey, with your audio, Steel, I appreciate I that. I don't even see it on here. All right. Ah, I don't see I, it open I think you're back. Okay. But you were explaining how you how you guys went into picking the decks and that it would be Matt who's going to kick off for you guys. You wanted to put him on a kind of a 50 50 ish deck to see if maybe you could get a, a, a win or even a couple of wins off the top. Uh, what I didn't hear was which deck he's oh, actually going to be playing to lead off. All right, well, hang on. I appreciate you for doing that.